Thanks for rolling up. I'm too but Marley, this certified pothead. Rolling up one of my morning blunt. Yo. Need y'all to help me out, man. Trying to get 10,000 subscribers by March. So, I need y'all to RTNU. Run those numbers up. Hit that subscribe. Blaze that like. <laughs> blaze that like button, bro. Oh, yo, let's jump into this. See what's going on, bro, in the world of uh, marijuana, my dude. MPD shared the photos of the six suspects this morning. Police MPD. say they responded to the Cloud Nine Wellness Dispensary on the 1400 block of Hilton Road just after five Sunday morning. What they happened? Found the business heavily damaged. Cash and an ATM were stolen. Oh. He says they later found the ATM in a West Metro field with the cash removed. On Monday, detectives then found a safe in East Medford that was stolen from an Ashland dispensary on Monday. Okay. Captured on video, which definitely gave us the number of suspects and the type of vehicles that were associated with them. Uh, but the cars and the clothing proved to be pretty valuable from the video surveillance, and that's really helpful. This show does exactly who's doing the shit. Boudreaux says that police received a tip of suspicious activity at a home being used as, as an Airbnb yesterday afternoon on the 1500 block of Red Hawk Drive oh. in Medford. After a brief standoff, the six suspects were arrested early this morning. They say they're all from the Oakland and Sacramento areas. They all face counts. burglary, criminal mischief, and theft. Why are dental okay. companies lying? Uh, oh, shit. Yo. Um, Y'all niggas wasn't even going in there trying to get dank. Y'all just hit the ATM. Y'all couldn't get an ATM from anywhere else than a weed dispensary. Uh, y'all got into it, apparently. Y'all got into the ATM, so y'all know how to do levels. Bro, y'all could have got an ATM from anywhere. Why y'all got Why y'all got to break into the dispensary, bro? Y'all done all fucked up weed getting for people for that day, bro. Probably for the week, bro. Couple days, bro. Niggas couldn't get danked because of y'all. Bro, what, 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 bro? You know, if that was my own... Well, the own Cali, so that ain't the only place to get danked. But if that was my favorite location to get dank, I'd be upset right now. I'd be upset at y'all. Don't, don't be, yo, don't be doing that, bro. If you go and commit crimes, <laughs> if you go and commit crimes, don't commit crimes at weed dispensaries, bro. Out of here with that, bro. Commit crimes other places. I'm, I'm not advocating crime. I'm not saying commit crimes. But if you do commit crimes, bro. Try, try to avoid doing them at the dispensaries. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Should marijuana dis dispensaries be exempt from criminal activity? I, I, I think so, bro. I think I think it should be just just a written rule amongst thieves and crooks that you do not hit dispensaries. Everywhere else, everywhere else, open, 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 open game, bro. Open season on everything else, bro. Just don't fuck up where the fuck I'm trying to get my dank from. Please don't do that, my nigga. <coughs> don't do that. 